Today's video starts on page six. It's a problem of the day page. However, uh, question one, two, and five, the inequality symbol did not show up in your packet. So for number one, please fill in, write the inequality x is less than or equal to two. Number two, graph j is greater than or equal to negative three. And number five, the absolute value of x, what numbers, are greater than three. So go ahead and um, try this problem of the day, these five questions. Pause the video now, and we will go over those in class tomorrow. On to page seven. On page seven, yes, this is part of your classwork. I'm going to do a few of these as the notes today, so just follow along with me. Uh, number two I'm going to do, explain the difference between x is less than 10 and x is less than or equal to 10. Well, x is less than 10 does not include 10 as part of the solution. Does not include the number 10 as part of the solution. 10 is not less than 10. So it's not part of the answer. But everything less than 10, like 9 and 9 and uh, 99 hundredths and 9 and 1 tenth and negative 6, they, those numbers are less than 10. Infinitely many answers. But 10 does not include 10 as a part of the solution. X is less than 10. X is less than or equal to 10 does include 10 because 10 is equal to 10 as part of the solution. So when we go to graph this, x is less than 10, open circle, because 10 is not part of the solution. But x is less than or equal to 10, filled in circle, because 10 is part of the solution. Solve each inequality, graph the solution on a number line. To solve inequalities, we do the same thing process, goal, inverse, balance, check, as we do with equalities, equations they're called. Equalities mean they are equal to each other, inequalities not equal. So we're doing a comparison, not equal. So we solve them, goal, inverse, balance, check. So solve them just like they're equations, equalities. So first one is a division inequality. What number divided by 2 is less than negative 3? Well, the opposite of dividing is multiply. Multiply up, 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 up. So we're going to multiply by 2 and cancel, and we get k numbers have to be less than 6. What numbers are less than negative 6? Negative 6. Well, that's an open circle because it doesn't have the equal symbol on it. So 6 is not included. That negative 6 is not included. But any numbers left of negative 6 or less than negative 6 are included in the solution. Infinitely many answers. So negative 7, negative 9, negative 1,000, negative 1,992, and so on and so forth. Infinitely many answers there. Solving and adding inequality. Well, the opposite of adding, the inverse operation is to subtract 4 from both sides. And we get that r, the numbers r, have to be greater than, same signs adding, keep, negative 9. So greater than negative 9, open circle at negative 9, and anything to the right of negative 9. So accentuate that arrow, so drawing right on the number line, not above it, right on it. Open circle because that's greater than negative 9. So negative 8 and negative 6 and 0 and positive 1. Oh, and a way to check inequalities. Forgot to do that in number 4. I usually like to check with 0. So I'll put 0 into my original inequality. Okay, so 0 divided by 2, is that less than negative 3? Well, 0 divided by 2, well, that's 0. Is 0 less than negative 3? No, so my inequality should not be going towards this zero thing. It should not go over zero. I should not be drawing my line and my arrow towards the right, towards zero. Not including zero because this is not true. 
So don't drive that way. Number five, zero. If I put zero into this, four plus zero, is that greater than negative five? Well, four plus zero is four. Four is greater than negative five. So yes, my arrow is eventually, because it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going, right? So it does go towards zero. My inequality should be graphing so that yes, zero is included in the solution. So that is true. I usually like to check inequalities with zero because there's infinitely many answers. Better pick one that's a good one to check with. Zero is a good thing to check with. Number six is a multiply inequality. Well, the inverse of multiply is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by eight and cancel. And I get my b's have to be numbers that are less than or equal to 40 divided by eight is five. Less than or equal to five. Okay, now I want to make sure my uh, arrow is going in the right direction. I'm going to pick zero. Okay, eight times zero. Is that less than or equal to 40? Well, eight times zero is zero. Yes, zero is less than or equal to 40. So yes, my number arrowed line arrow should point going towards zero. Yes, zero is part of the solution and so is every number including five and less than five. So anything to the left and including five. That's what that inequality says. Because if you put a five in there, eight times five is 40. 40 does equal 40. So it does, um, so, uh, it is part of the solution for numbers that are less than or equal to five. And number seven is a subtraction uh, inequality. So we're going to do the inverse, which is to add 9 to both sides. So we're going to add 9, and we get x is numbers that have to be greater than or equal to different signs subtract. Negative 16 and positive 9 subtracting, I get 7. Take the sign of the larger number, so I get negative 7. So numbers greater than or equal to negative 7. Greater than or equal to, so I know it's a filled in dot. I'm going to choose 0. 0 minus 9, is that greater than or equal to negative 16? Well, 0 minus 9 would be negative 9. Negative 9 is greater than or equal to negative 16. It is. So if I go towards 0, yes, this is going to keep going towards 0. That is one of the infinitely many answers that is a solution to this inequality. So I'm going to go numbers that are greater than or equal to, filling in because negative 7 is part of the solution. So infinitely many solutions with inequalities. I'm going to leave 8 and 9 for us to do in class. Um, Two-step inequalities. Goal, inverse, balance, check. Going to solve them just like two-step equations. Add or subtract first, then multiply or divide. So let's do, um, oh, let's do number 10. Subtracting 3, adding or subtracting the inverse of that first. And I get 6y's are less than or equal to, don't bring down the equal symbol, bring down the less than or equal to, the inequality symbol. Same signs, add and keep. We get negative 18. I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. And I get my y numbers have to be less than or equal to negative 3. Less than or equal to negative 3. Hmm, okay, so less than or equal to means it's going to be a built-in circle. If I put 0 into this inequality to check, am I supposed to go this way or am I supposed to go that way? Let's see. Um, 0, 6 times 0, 6 times 0 plus 3. Is that less than or equal to negative 15? Well, 6 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 is not, not less than or equal to negative 3. So I do not want to go towards 0. I want to go less than numbers less than negative 3, which are, yes, heading to the left less than negative 3. And yes, if you want to draw your arrow a little bit longer or if you want to go all the way to the end, just make sure that you accentuate that arrow there. Any number less than or equal to negative 3 will satisfy this inequality. They are solutions to that. 
Write an inequality for each sentence, then solve the inequality. The sum of a number and 5, I'm going to do number 15, is less than or equal to negative 9. The sum of a number, okay, I'm going to pick K. Sum of a number, any letter I want, and 5, sum means add, is less than or equal to, got to put that equal symbol there, to negative 9. Write the inequality, then solve it. Doesn't say graph it, it just says solve it. Okay, I'm going to add, not add, that's not the inverse. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides to solve this. And I get k is less than or equal to, same sign, z, and p. Any numbers less than or equal to negative 14? Hmm. How about negative 20? Would that work? Negative 20. Let's make sure I solve this correctly. So negative 20 plus 5. Is that less?